life in the universe. On Earth, there is life almost everywhere. Microscopic, invisible to the naked eye, life requires water and Earth has an abundance of it. To find life, all you have to do is open your eyes. Due to evolution, life has taken on many different forms. It exists practically everywhere due to the ability of life to find a niche and inhabit it. Every day you encounter billions of organisms. There are bacteria on your skin or in your gut, mites on your eyelashes, microorganisms on your cell phone, or even cyanobacteria in your aquarium. With a little help from modern science, examining the unseen world of microscopic life is possible. In this fishbowl, Neil the beta fish is far from being the only living thing. To see what makes up Neil's world, we will grow the microorganisms on a sugar food source. This will allow them to replicate rapidly. We will then be able to observe what lives in his bowl. By using a microscope, we can get a closer look at the bacteria that live in the water. They interact with Neil and the plant in his bowl. Many of the bacteria consume things that Neil would never eat, leaving his bowl a good environment for a healthy fish. As you can see, these are colonies of bacteria from the fish bowl. Many things humans utilize depend on microorganisms. We even leave them behind to fend for themselves. Everywhere we go and everything we touch alters life around us. A simple doorknob can exchange bacteria and viruses between people who have never even met. Life is common around us and is constantly evolving to stay in existence. Most of the types of life we interact with every day are generic. They exist almost everywhere on the earth. The most specialized types of life live in environments that we would consider unsuitable. They use more specialized types of cellular processes to exist. Because we would consider them extreme, they carry the name extremophile. Life exists practically everywhere on Earth, ranging from mild to extreme environments. Organisms that live around hydrothermal vents can't get their energy from sunlight due to how deep they are in the ocean, so they had to adapt to using geothermal energy instead of energy from sunlight. They have become chemoautotrophic, meaning that they derive their energy from inorganic substances. Because of evolution, organisms have the ability to adapt to a range of different lifestyles. Just on Earth, there are environments that have extreme heat, very little amounts of organic materials, high pressure and toxic substances. Life has found loopholes to exist in these places, which are similar to environments we might find in other places. What is rare and extreme to us may be normal elsewhere in the universe. One of the most plausible places we would find life in our solar system is Europa. Europa is a moon of Jupiter covered with broken, blotchy landscapes with mysterious reddish material of a composition that is unknown. It is believed to have a global ocean of salt water, coated entirely by an ice exterior. If the ocean does exist, tides might create volcanic or hydrothermal activity on the seafloor. When provided with a cohesive environment, life can take hold and evolve into amazing things, maybe even a space whale. The implications of finding life elsewhere in the universe would mean everything and would allow us to understand more about how life works and just how much variation can exist. This discovery would forever change our view of what life really is and what it means to be alive.